Today, today is his day to run free. Um, I mean, the soft and the serum visions could be anything, right? You never need double red, so I'm gonna go ahead and fetch a basic island here. Serum visions, sweet, uh, bottom there. I think I'm fine topping that. If they have a dark confidant, they get one draw out of it, but then I'll get to electrolyze it afterwards. Didn't build the J stick to not, yeah. Yeah, that's one way to look at it. I suppose I can dig for bolts here, right? Hmm. That's probably a keep, right? I'm gonna dig for bolt. <laughs> I love getting rewarded for tight play. It's, it's my favorite chat. I love getting rewarded for tight play. Just, Nah, let's look for the thing we actually want. Kacha! Kacha! All right. Ditch this Jace. Just want to guarantee my, my lands here. Guess the Blood Moon. Get Blood Braid Elf to die. Even gave him the untapped fourth land because I'm a giver. Ugh, let's just be abrupt decay for our Blood Moon. Just a bolt, okay. Just a bolt. Huh. I want to do this. I guess they're getting ready to ult this, which is kind of scary. I could have gone either way. I could see a merit to like playing Jason plusing it there. I just have a second blood braid off, so we're dead. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I hadn't considered how much better Blood Braid makes Jund against Blood Moon. It's kind of interesting. So this is definitely a Harvest Pyre, Entrancing Melody, Engineered Explosive matchup. All these remands get to come out. I think I want to just cut these Blood Moons. Yeah, it's probably wrong. Is it? Actually, not sure. Probably want to cut these. Maybe I don't want both the engineered explosives, just one is fine. Let's do that. Give this a go. I think a braid is fine. You need to kill Dark Confidant. You have to kill Blood Braid Elf, right? Like we have to take their threats off the table. We're not killing artifacts. It's just like a two, da two mana deal three to something.
God, what what is that? It's a grapefruit. 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 Sparkling water. Feels like carbonated nothing. It's sparkling water with grapefruit flavoring. Okay. Sounds... Ugh. 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 Maybe I should have let Jake try it. He'd have thrown it up. <laughs> oh. Okay. You want me to meet my microphone? Okay, sure. Jacqueline... Like, he asks for chicken when he's chicken, right? Yeah. He said, Mommy, can I have hot chicken, please? Like, he specified that he wanted it hot, which I thought was just, okay, whatever. But he actually meant he wanted it hot because he stopped eating for a few minutes and went back to it. And he looked at me and was like, Mommy, my hot chicken. So I had to <laughs> heat, it, it. heat it up for him again. <laughs> Is that how Faithless Ludig would taste if it had a taste? Yeah, probably. It's probably a good, accurate descriptor. He's a riot. I boarded my Blood Moons out, right? So I can just fetch Steam Vents here? Twitch. Yeah. Chat. Did you order dinner? God, you're the best. Gosh, you're the best. Mm. Did I send a bolt upstairs here? Yeah, I'm just going to send a bolt up. I don't know if I want a bolt upstairs here or not. The chat misses me. They love me. Okay, rewarded for waiting. Now if they... Now this bolt will make a 1-1. One -one. Quick, somebody donate cupcakes. I love cupcakes. Hey, look at that cute banner. I don't know what that word means. Senpai. I don't know what that means. But I know what that means. Yeah, I agree. I, it's like it depends on your role in the matchup. Like sometimes with dark against dark confidant decks, you can take a more aggressive role. But we're definitely geared up for like the mid to late game, right? I think you should cast Jace the Mind Sculptor. I that we are certainly going to do that if we draw an untapped land here. All of our lands are untapped. So that's exciting. Let's uh, call against command here, kill my pyro, discard my bolt. And untap and play my Jace, hopefully. Sad. This is what Jeff does for a living. He is also a teacher, so I guess that's a... What do I do for a living? I'm a really good teacher. Yeah, I have a, I have a master's degree in mathematics, and I did a, an education minor during my undergrad. But I most mostly do this now. A couple hours a week at the local community college still, but this is probably gonna be the last semester for that. You all have given me slightly different definitions. I'm just gonna go with it means I'm great. Because let's face it, that's the truth. <laughs> it kinda sucks to not get to put visions down here, but we definitely like have to take the dark confidant off the table, right? I guess you could maybe make an argument that like Bob's on our team with them at 13 and them having a bunch of Bloodbraid Elves in their deck, but I think that's too much of a gamble. I think if they were single digits, I might have left. I might have left it in play, but the fact that they're they're still in the double digits, I think leaving Bob around is too much of a liability. Please don't blightning me. Please don't blightning me. Snapcaster lines up so well against Bloodbraid Elf. Mmm, that hurts. I guess we weren't drawing cards with that for a long time anyways. Block. Land. Thing. I think I'm just gonna plus here. Your bolt deck. Plus on myself since I have a fetch land. Put Pyromancer on the bottom of your deck. No, I think I'm in the market for that. Unsummon the BB. D D. Hopefully they don't have two bolts left. They could have like Maelstrom Pulse or Dreadbore too. Dex.
Okay. Okay. So Jace hopefully gets to live here. And then if he can find some action alongside this Pyromancer, that would be pretty insane. Get to kind of go wide and stall all this out. Like a lightning bolt would be great here. Even cantrips would be fine. Yeah, sweet. So I get to uh, do this, do this, cast this, cast this. It's unfortunate that we only get to make one thing here. Actually going bottom, bottom with these, right? Just like looking for ways to make Pyromancer do stuff. This is all preparation for the no bad list modern, right? Do I let Jace go to two? I don't think I can. Although, actually, this is interesting. If my opponent had a removal spell here, they would have killed my Pyromancer, right? So maybe letting Jace, like if they had Culligan's command, like my Jace, they certainly would have killed my Pyromancer, like gotten their blood braid back, right? They had Bolt. Maybe they'd have held a Bolt. I feel like there's a good chance if they had removal, they would have killed the Pyromancer. My Pyromancer really feels like one of my avenues back into this game. Maybe I should have... Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have left the other Jace on top of my deck to give myself the option to have it or not next turn. Hmm. This is unfortunate for us. Okay. It's a good line on the opponent's part. Maybe I should have... It's possible I should have, like, traded plus chumped and left Jace at five. Enchanting Melody. We get four looks at Enchanting Melody here would be kind of insane. Those unfortunately don't do much. I guess I put these two back and then play explosives and crack it this turn. Uh, we actually didn't play it. I was looking at it more and it's just such a it was such a hot mess uh, that I was like, I can't work on this now. Like I need to I need to play with this later. What if it enchanting melody there? We could have done this and then gotten them to suicide in. I can't kill. Oh, with the electrolyze? No, I don't really care about electrolyze. I mean, I don't really care about the Liliana right now. Eventually, she's gonna matter, but it won't matter in the long term. I don't think I can use my health total as a resource. I think I want to just kill the Tarmogoyf now. So Jace down. We go to fourteen. Have two more two drops. Uh, super punished. All right, we're dead. Where are my anger of the gods? We're not playing that card. All righty, well, it's a tough start to that league. I can say thank you to everyone that's hanging out here tonight. I have almost a thousand people watching. There's a lot of different things you could be doing, different people you could be watching on Twitch, but you're choosing to spend part of your night here with us. My name is Jeff Hoagland. Welcome. I stream magic on this channel every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday afternoons into the evenings. If you're enjoying what you see, please make sure you hit that follow button. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps other people find my stuff. If you're really enjoying what you see, please consider subscribing on Twitch. That's the absolute best way you can support my content here. Subscriptions are the reason I'm able to do what I do as often as I do. You can also support my content by supporting my sponsors, mtgotraders.com. I love to buy and sell magic online cards with you. And if you use code Hoagland PayPal, I check out with them. You'll save 8% on your singles orders there. Coolstuffinc.com buys and sells a lot of cool stuff, including TCG singles. Using promo code JEP5, you can save 5% on Magic, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh cards with them. Inkedgaming.com would love to help you customize your gaming experience. Using code JEP12, you can save 12% on custom uh, playmats, mouse pads, sleeves, binders, bags. They really do it all. And finally, this stream is made possible by viewers like Anironix and you. Anironix would like to remind you to hit that follow button if you're enjoying what you see. Anyway, we're waiting for the second match in this league. Yeah, the, uh, how good is BBE Cobra Sahili? I might get the deck. I have no idea. Maybe. 
It could be, yeah, and like the actual answer is that we don't know. It's gonna take a while for things to sort out, and like Magic Online's not gonna be a, a good metric for like which decks are good and otherwise right now because there's so many people that all want to jump in and try the new cards that like we're mostly playing like new ideas versus new ideas and like we really need when you're tuning a new idea and you want to test it properly you really want to spend your time testing new ideas versus proven shells so this is kind of sweet we know the blood moon's on top of our deck so if our opponent plays makes a play on the first turn that implies blood moon won't be good against them we can just fetch the blood moon away I do kind of like the idea of cascading Blood Bright Elf into Renegade Rally and then getting back something back from my discard pile. That sounds kind of sweet. Definitely sweet. Champion of the Parish. This is probably a matchup I want my Blood Moon, right? I can remand. I can remand them next turn and then Blood Moon them the following turn. Did my magic online lock up there for a second? Any chance we'll see BB into Savage Knuckle Blade? On this channel, almost certainly at some point. I am I am a sucker for I am a sucker for Savage Knuckle Blade. I played that card way too much when it was standard legal. So having a chance to try and play it again in this format would be a lot of fun. I'm gonna ban humans or green white humans. I actually really like your idea of explore into into Blood Braid, Brecken Sky. That seems really sweet. Hopefully we can steal one. And steal one with Blood Moon. It's possible too that like these games we played, like someone talked about Thing in the Ice. I am interested in trying Thing in the Ice out in a couple different shells. I actually have a blue-black J shell that I want to try Thing of the Ice out in at some point. Oh, this is the. It was. Is this like a thing? Someone. They're actually playing Blood Moon, right? There was like this Naya Humans thing that we played against the other day. Maybe it's just the same player. It was like Collected Company and they had Blood Moons of their own. I'd love to draw a cantrip here so we can play Pyromancer and make some friends. The breed's kind of okay. Go ahead and play this. I wonder if I'm, if they don't have another human to play, I might just flash in Snapcaster Mage to block the champion of the Parish here. Just to like keep my health total high against future potential, future Kessig Malcontents. Well, I guess, nah, nah, I'm not, I'm not. That's a lie. I can abrade this and then block and then snap abrade the next turn. That's true, it could be something more stock. We just, it could just be that it's in my head, right? Like the Temple Garden is throwing me. Like humans, stock humans doesn't usually play Temple Garden. Okay, they are just in fact playing stock humans, it looks like. Or stock-ish. No attack into mana, that makes sense. Gonna nip this in the bud right now. Get it off the table here. Boom, keep them locked out. Bolt this one, attack with an elemental. I really like a braid in modern right now. I think if you're playing a non Culligan's Command red deck in modern, you should probably have some number of braids near 75. It's super flexible, just like the, the removal smash split effect is very reasonable. No, I don't want to I don't want to jump to that conclusion. It could, but like I think it's it's pretty likely that like they could just be like expecting cryptic command like like imagine I had cryptic command there and went like bounce their champion of the parish plus make a 1-1 and trade with the Kessig Malcontents. 
they've, they've had enough here. Like, we're through two of their Aether Vials. I'll just run them down. All right, so this is a... My board's probably not set up that well for aggressive decks. I didn't really think this out. This is like, it's not too bad. I want to cut AV and Remand, and I have six cards to bring in. Would you play a Braid and Grishel brand? Maybe, maybe I should have specified fair decks. Maybe I should have specified fair decks. I think this is what I want to do. Just like Remands and, and AVs out. Just leave one of these in. Yeah, that's true too. They were just been like, okay, we're packing it in. Had had enough of this stuff. They have magic cards. Bring in surgical. Ain't that the truth? The upside to scrubbing with a bunch of these decks is that we've burned through a lot of them today. Entrancing Melody doesn't seem fantastic as because you're scared. Yeah, you're scared of big, you're scared of high, high toughness creatures that you can't kill with lightning bolts. Like Death Shadows that are get are, are roast to even, like Death Shadows that get to six sixes, five six Tarmogwaves. Entrancing Melody is not stellar against aggressive decks. We bring it in here because it's better than Remand, but the reason why Entrancing Melody is in our sideboard is because of... Um, Entrancing Melody is in our sideboard because of, like, Death Shadows and Tarmogoyfs, not because of humans. Flexible or Silver Bolts? It depends on the deck I'm playing and what the matches are that I'm looking to improve and how much I need to improve them by. If you're looking to just bring, you know... 45 and 50 percent matchups up to 55 and 60 percent more flexible cards is generally fine but you know if you're playing a deck that if you're playing a deck that is a really bad matchup and you're looking to bring it up then generally you want to play higher impact cards so it's going to vary depending on what exactly you're looking to do that's is their hand just all one drops is engineered explosive just like the stones right now Well, alrighty. The Black Wish is far too slow, mortal. So I'm gonna opt to use my health total as a resource here. My opponent obviously has a, a bunch more one drops in their hand. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this as a hit for three here and choose to blow this engineered explosives during their end of turn. This allows me to allow my opponent to not use their one mana this turn, which is their only resource. So it buys us a lot of tempo by choosing to take three damage in order to not let them play another one drop this turn. Especially if that one drop, say like Noble Hierarch, where it would allow them to get the head out of mana even further. Man, these Snapcaster Mages look pretty great, huh? Am I just going to play one of these out? I'm going to play one of these out just in case. Just in case. I probably want this to block anyways. They might just name Ancestral Vision with this. Honestly. Snap the explosives. This could also, this could also give something away, like the fact that, just Cryptic Command, that's interesting. The fact that I played Snapcaster Mage here could indicate that like, I have more Snapcaster Mages in my hand too. Yeah, I, mean, I think playing the snap might have been wrong there. I don't know, it could have gone either way. Drawing the Harvest Buyer here is pretty excellent. Pretty excellent. All right, they hit running, running lands here. What'd they, what'd they hit? They could have another meddling mage. Okay, I'm gonna harvest pyre this guy in response. Maybe this gives away too much information. This is kind of like playing around a ghost, but I think this is worthwhile. Cause like, if they're ghosting, we get kind of ranged there. And like, it's a small percentage either way. This is probably just renamed Cryptic Command then. Naming Cryptic kind of makes sense if they're afraid of... 
I don't, I don't know. I don't know, opponent. I don't know about you. They asked me when the when the match started if I'm the big streamer. Do I want these lands? Do I want these lands? <sighs> I definitely want one. So one is going to the top of my deck. It's not, it's not, not close. I'm gonna bottom the other one in case they have a third meddling major or phantasmal image. We de we're definitely keeping one. Keeping one is not a question. The question is whether or not I want both. Thalia's Lieutenant sucks here for us. Just Thalia. That sucks too, actually. I don't have another play. That's pretty good for us. Maybe I should have kept the other land because it gets me, like, I'm, I'm Ancestral Visioning next turn. You get Reflector Mage now. Hey, Kid Soja. That brand new Twitch Prime support. Thank you very much and welcome. I appreciate that. As always, subscriptions are the best way you can support my content here. So remember, I do have to pay one for this Ancestral Vision, which kind of sucks. Hopefully we hit a Bolt or an Engineered Explosives. EE would actually be pretty good. Yeah, I, I don't understand why they didn't name the Ancestral Vision, honestly. Oh, okay. So, for those that are unfamiliar, Engineered Explosives is not affected by um, Thalia because it just cares about Sunburst. I don't need more red here, right? Really can't afford to make more red. Our poker hand is pretty great. And the Anironix banner is also fantastic. I concur. Hey, T-Face SG at Twitch Prime support. Thank you very much and welcome. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sure. So we take two here down to six. If they don't have a two drop to follow this up, we just Blood Moon them and then we're probably in an okay spot, right? Going on, Quaz. Yeah, you did the emote. If they play another two drop here, I think I need to Snapcaster next turn. Yeah, I think I just need to Snapcaster now. Oh. <sighs> You just snap Harvest Pyre here. Kill their 3 4. Yeah, that's true. If you want it to be zero, it does care. That's a fair assessment. Hopefully, they can't put two humans into play so I can block with this and trade potentially so they don't attack if we get if we get reprieve for a turn here we could we could be in a good spot like if they if they can't make a good attack on us this turn we're going to be in a great spot another reflector mage that's a beating why do it now because i had eight cards in my hand That's that's why I did it. That's that's why my timing was what it was. I had eight cards in my hand. And every another red source here really sucks. Uh, I do not want to shock for this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pass here. 
Oh, that was bad. That was really bad. I should have I should have just played that as a t Oh, I couldn't play it, right? Cuz of the thing. Yeah, I couldn't play it. Am I playing this as a game too? I think I'm playing this as a game too. Sin Collector. Yep. We're losing a Cryptic Command tier. Actually, yeah. We're just going to go to two and then start chaining Cryptic Commands, right? We're going to play Pyromancer. And then we'll like Pyro... We'll like Cryptic tap your team, draw a card. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to take... I'm just going to go to one here effectively. I don't know, they've all felt kind of mediocre, if we're being honest. I haven't really played one that, that stood out to me like, oh yeah, that was great, I'd play that again. There's some, the, the fairies deck feels like it has potential to it, but I also just like, really like fairies, so I'm super biased in that respect. They actually, we're actually dead to Mantis Rider, right? No, I could cryptic in response to that. I mean like do I do I have lines to play around those cards though? Like I can't I can't play around Malcontent, so like if I can't play around it's like not even really worth talking about. But you can't even blood moon them off of Malcontent, which is super annoying. It's okay. We were five and five with the Miracles deck, so like not 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 terrible, but like nothing to write home about. Yeah, I much prefer Entrancing Melody, obviously. It also triggers Pyromancer, which is nice. No, that's not true, because they just vial it in in response to me bouncing it, so that doesn't do anything. So I need one, two, three. I can play this bolt here. We might actually tempo them out of this game. We might actually tempo them out of this game. We get to... This bolt was an excellent draw. That's really unfortunate. Hopefully they bounce the elemental here. No, they're bouncing the pyromancer. All right, that probably means we're not tempoing them out of the game anymore. If they hadn't had, if they had nothing there, we would have been able to hit them for three and then like tap, draw, and like do more stuff that way. Is Melody better than Threads? Yeah, the decks you want, you want that type of effect against. You, um, you, you can't afford to get Abrupt Decade. Also like uh, Threads, only costs one more mana, and you can snap back in Transing Melody, which is like super relevant a lot of the time. Why not snap Bolt to make another token? Because I need to snap Cryptic Command to not die this turn, I think. Or that's my plan. My plan is to snap Cryptic Command. Or we have to fade a bunch of draws here. I have to fade a whole lot of draws. Do I have another Cryptic in my deck? I think I actually only have two Cryptics, so probably dead. And maybe I got two. I should have pivoted off trying to tempo them and like tried to kill their board here. It's an okay hit. So I get to go Pyromancer, Pyromancer, Entrancing Melody, the champion of the parish. I can actually snap Entrancing Melody next turn.
We might steal this game. Yeah, they're going to top deck a Mantis or whatever, but that's what it is. Well, it's good to know our opponent doesn't know how their magic cards work. Game three here. Have a game three here. So opponent could have killed us on their previous turn if they used their Aether Vial correctly there. Opponent opponent could have killed us on their previous. Well, no, they didn't draw the Mantis Rider. They had it apparently and chose not to kill us. You know, I guess I'll take some false hope. I guess. I don't know. I haven't played a TG T T face. If not, it's not something I've played before. What is haste? What is haste? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was kind of getting excited there, too. When we ripped the entrancing melody, I was like, oh, man. If we just fade for a turn or two, we get to beat them down with their own 6-6. Six, six. Like our Pyromancers and Staffcaster Mages would have made the champion of the Parish larger. Bring in surgical. <laughs> uh... Well, I mean, once they missed lethal, they needed to wait until my end of turn so I could potentially, like, put my shields down, right? So, like, once they miss lethal, waiting till my end of turn is correct. How do I feel about a hollowed one? I think if you like literally gambling, it's a great deck. I think it's very powerful, regardless of how you feel, but to describe it as anything other than literally gambling is inaccurate. Oh, I don't want... I don't want both my cryptics in my opener, but I don't think I want to go to... Blood Moon Cryptic's not stellar either. I don't know. This hand's probably... I was probably supposed to go to five here. Yeah, I was probably supposed to go to five here. This was a bad keep. People get so caught up in just like... <laughs> Not mulliganing lower than six. I'd like we keep a lot of bad hands. You're saying there's a chance. Yeah, I agree with T-Face. I, I can respect a good aggressive deck and enjoy playing them on occasion, but the fact that, like, there's so much variance that goes into that deck is, is really, really unappealing. We're pretty dead here, right? I mean, the Hollow One deck is playing a bunch of cards that read discard three at random, so yeah, there's a lot of things that are outside of your control. That's true. You'll never lose because you bowled to five if you always keep seven. That is, that is the truth. We are pretty dead here. Drew a bunch of expensive spells that just can't. Um... Dear Magic Online, what happened to my game window? It sounds like Magic Online needs another nap. All right. Maybe we'll win games with some of these Jace decks eventually. Maybe, maybe we'll win games with some of these Jace decks eventually. We did play Faye already. No, we can't, Goldie, because Thalia's in play. If Thalia wasn't in play, We'd have maybe had a chance there, but she was, so we didn't. Time for your dirt nap magic online. Enjoy. I, I says, I says, I says, I says. Honestly, the correct answer is that, like, I feel like the best Jace deck is probably just gonna, like, we're gonna try all these other different Jace decks. At the end of the day, it's just going to be like the correct answer is just like shove two copies of Jace into Just Guy Control because like Just Guy Control is really good at picking apart these decks like this. Can I not? Can I not click on anything? Oh, no. There we go. There you go. We got there. We got there. We played against any cards. I guess we played against Eldrazi Tron earlier.
The way these Jace leagues have been going, I might actually have to put money into Magic Online sometime soon. I guess that's not true. I... You can hit the donation queue and play some play some of the decks that seem like we have a Grixis Delver League. Oh, we have Teamer Bedlam Fire Leagues. Yeah, maybe we'll play some Legacy. We're definitely going to play some Legacy this weekend. Re restock the coffers. Well, the mad the madcap the madcap experiments deck play pyromancer in the sideboard generally. I think if you're trying to include Jace in these decks, playing madcap experiment also becomes less appealing because you can only afford to have so many four mana sorcery speed cards in your modern deck. Otherwise, you're just going to get run out of a lot of games because your deck's just going to be far too clunky. Yeah, we tried Grixis Bed Love Jace, and it was a hot dumpster fire. I do not think this deck is very good after playing with it for a little while. We've also had a small sample size. Hey, Owl Mug. With that brand new Twitch Prime support. Thank you very much and welcome. I do appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Play Trod, yep, basically. All right, we get a humans rematch here. So, okay, we hit that land naturally. Because I hit this land naturally, I'm actually going to play the Young Pyromancer here. If I hadn't drawn the natural land here, I think I would have held up Remand. See, maybe I'm supposed to hold up Remand regardless, just to, like, not let their human get into play. Volps, 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 with the brand new Twitch Prime support. Thank you very much and welcome. I do appreciate that. As always, subscriptions are the best way you can support my stuff here. Yeah, I probably should have just held up Remand this turn. Not gotten Mantis Ridered. Yep, mistakes were made. Maybe it's just Reflector Mage? Nope, it's a Zoop Zoop. Yeah, I think I should have just... We could just get run out of this game. Like, I have this AV. I didn't need to really get this into play sooner. Do you think removing Azkanta to put in Jace is a concerning point? Yeah, Azkanta or some of their other win conditions, like if you're playing like Nahiri or Gearhulk or stuff like that. I think Azkanta and Jace fill kind of similar roles. Are we dead yet? Feels like we're dead. Feels like we're dead. Next turn... We're just going to electrolyze this Pilgrim. I guess I could hit Bolt plus Snapcaster Mage to kill. If they have Kessig Malcolm Tets, we're going to be super dead here. Yeah, the fact that it's out of Bolt range and a Braid range is pretty big. We're going to need double Bolt. I can't jump block this either. Yeah, not, not holding the Remand up on two is going to lose me this game. Uh, not holding up the remand on two is going to lose me this game. Almost, almost certainly. I guess if we draw Island plus Jace, we can pick, tell him to pick the Mantis Rider back up, right? We need a token off of this. Trigger, trigger my Pyromancer. Wow, that's unfortunate. I guess I opt because it gives me two looks at an abrade or a bolt here. Alrighty. This is this is gonna sound weird. Oh, I should have I should have attacked with my elemental, right? I should be attacking here because if they block I get to bolt it. It was a free point of damage because they weren't going to block. Um, Modern, on average, is a more aggressive format than Legacy is. Is the, the TLDR. Island here lets Vendillion click block. Come on, please. You're one card too late. 
Guess there is justice for misplaying. Shouldn't have played the Pyromancer on two. Blood Moon would have won us that game by a lot otherwise. So, the reason by and large why a lot of the Jace decks we've played feel unimpressive is because Jace doesn't solve problems that a lot of these blue decks have in modern. A lot of these decks in modern lose games where their opponent gets underneath them with aggressive curves. And Jace, Jace is a, a end game finisher that generates uh, insurmountable card advantage. It's not a card that prevents people from getting underneath you and killing you. So like, we talk about that a lot when we're building decks in the stream. It's like, okay, when you add a card to a deck, you wanna be solving a problem with it. So like, Jace is gonna like, be good in decks like Jeskai and Blue White Control and Grixis Control being slotted in over, why ain't you, get you three cards deep and you could go two there. Because I wanted to hit the Abrade or the Lightning Bolt right away. And Opt gives me two looks right away, whereas Serum Vigils gives me one look right away and two looks later. So I was trying to hit my card sooner rather than later. Seems fine. Gonna pass here. Draw the Sulfur Falls. No turn one play, interesting. It, it does matter if I go to two, the opponent has Kessig Malcolm Tents in their deck. It's a card, which is a card that kills you when they don't have any mana. So it does, it does in fact matter. They're not completely locked out of the game. They have cards that have a meaningful impact. Which are cards I was attempting to play around. Thank you. Can I have something to dream? I'm not going back down here. I almost asked you to, and then I figured you'd think about it. Well, I assumed you had something. Yeah, <laughs> I love you. No, it's fine. That's gross. It's been sitting there all day. Okay. Yeah, I'll run upstairs and get a drink for myself after this game. Named Blood Moon. That's rude. I like my Blood Moon opponent. I really like my Blood Moon. <laughs> he and I are friends. We wanted to make you not cast your spells. I'm gonna kill this in response. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people ghost on Magic Online. It's like, it happens. It could just be like, you know, I didn't make any plays and they're afraid of Blood Moon. That could be a possibility too, but they definitely could be ghosting. You're not wrong. We do get ghosted fairly frequently on this stream. All right, well, huh. I just Jason on summon here. I'm just gonna fate seal myself, actually. Nope. I'm gonna stay on top. Oh, 
collected company. Okay. Interesting. Don't double mantis rider me. Man. It is unreal how little breaks we can catch this evening. So, wait. They what? Uh, do you not know how Jace works, opponent? Do they not? Uh, do you not know how Jace works? I feel like they don't know how Jace works. Why? Why? Why are you so bad, opponent? You got so lucky. I was gonna concede, and now I get to keep playing a game. Uh. Why, why you make bad life choices, opponent? Modern players just have no fucking respect for Jace the Mind Sculptor, apparently. Just act at less than zero. Less than zero respect. Still not killing the Jace. Sure. Yeah, you do you. Minus one, permanently remove your Mantis Rider. Take your Kessig Malcontents. Go. Yeah, de definitely not ghosting. Or if they are, well, the last person that told us they were ghosting was just a really stupid ghost, right? All right, um. MTGO is the most competitive seed you could hope for, right? When people tell me that, they're like, Magic Online's so competitive and it's such quality testing for big turrets, I'm like, are y'all playing different matches than me? Are y'all, are y'all playing different matches than me? Because I, I play a lot of matches like these. I almost right click conceded when they when they hit double mantis rider and then they attacked me for seven and I was like oh all right yeah sure you know sure easy mulligan here brackets don't exist on magic online brackets don't exist on magic online for those that for those that are new to the software the software doesn't have brackets. Probably Thundermaw now, honestly. Opponent lets you keep Chase as a birthday gift. Thanks for the bit, Steam Flogger. I do appreciate them. <laughs> right? Right? They're just gonna like turn to Mantis Rider me again here and I'm just gonna like die in a fucking blaze so it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, human stick. Gonna put sadness on the stack and drop from this league.
We're gonna do something else. I'm gonna go get something to drink. We're gonna take, I need to like, take a five minute break and get something to drink and collect myself because there's only sadness here. So go look at the donation queue. Figure out, I don't care how many points they have. Figure out which of those JSTEC sucks the least. Let's try, let's try that one. Let's try whichever one feels like it sucks the least. All right, do we figure out which of these decks looks the least bad? We could play something not on there. I've been I've been molested